If there had have been 674 white folks buried in this site, there would have been a memorial up here a long time ago. The other mass graves in uh, the county that were impacted or developed a, uh, as a result of the storm had markers on them for decades. This one went unnoticed for about 74 years. In the heart of the black community, and among some of the oldest neighborhoods in the city of West Palm Beach. At the intersection of Tamarind Avenue and 25th Street sits a one and a half acre lot containing the remains of some 674 unidentified men, women, and children, victims of the Great Okeechobee Hurricane. They were migrant farmers and laborers of western Palm Beach County. In life, they helped turn a South Florida swamp into a booming tropical mecca. In death, they were pitched into a trench and left to be ignored for three quarters of a century, neglected and nearly forgotten. Part of the site was put, purchased in 1914 by the city of West Palm Beach to be a dump. Again in 1928, they purchased more property from the county to turn it into, to, to make a pauper cemetery. In 1927, uh, the Woodlawn Cemetery, which had pauper plots available, was filling up. A man named John Glass got the last plot somewhere towards the end of December 27. And as a result of that, there was no place to bury paupers. So the city negotiated with the county and purchased one and a quarter acres of land, one and a half acres, 1.48 acres of land uh, to be used as a pauper cemetery. Uh, that land was purchased December 27 and wasn't used uh, until the hurricane. If this hurricane had drowned 3,000 white businessmen in downtown West Palm, or if it would have smashed a black tie affair out in Palm Beach, they'd still be talking about it but it killed poor, mostly black migrant workers in the interior of the state, away from the Riviera, away from the fancy hotels. And uh, it was 1928, and who cared? These were expendable people. They weren't even Americans. Most of them were from the islands or from the deep south. These, were, these, were, these weren't just second class citizens. These were invisible people. And that's why nobody had any compunction about just digging a hole and dumping 700 bodies in it.